For more than 10 years, Abu Muhammad has been living in a tent with his family in northern Syria, displaced by the long-run civil war, unable to earn enough to support them. He, like hundreds of others, have decided to travel via Turkey to Niger to work as a machinery. Abu Muhammad, not his real name, who is 33, and his wife have four young children. They have no running water or toilet and rely on a small solar panel to charge his phone. Their tent is sweltering in summer and freezing in winter and leaks when it rains. Finding work has become extremely difficult, he says. He is a member of Turkish-backed opposition forces that have been fighting President Bashar al-Assad for more than a decade. The faction he works for, for pays him less than $50 40 pounds a month. So when Turkish recruiters appeared offering $1,500 a month to work in Niger, he decided it was the best way to earn more money. In as much as it is his life and things are difficult for him, it is quite understandable that between earning $50 a month and $1,500 a month, you have difference of $1,450 and you can do a whole lot with that as a married man with wife and four young children. But we must equally know that a hunter who sets trap with elephant, there's no animal that he will ever catch that will be bigger than elephant. Him, out of his desperation, I'm not judging him, accepting to become a missionary, he should equally know that he might enter into this end money is a 50-50 chance that he is not even sure that he will make it out of this new occupation where he's getting the money to feed his family that he might someday not be able to talk to his family on phone or ever return to them. Yes, because taking up a job as a missionary is a 50-50 issue. Yes, but it is left for him because this seems like it is a case for many people that find themselves in this situation. He says Syria faction leaders have facilitated the process and after faction taxes and agents, he will still be left with at least two thirds of the money. And if I die in battle in Niger, my family will receive compensation of 50,000 he adds. So out of, out of 1,500 they are paying him. So faction taxes and agents will take part of the money of which he will be left with at least two thirds of the money and if he dies in the battle in niger his family will receive fifty thousand dollars pension he adds but truth be told when he is no more does his wife and children even know the condition in which these deals were negotiated on and the people he had this deal with when he is no more will they keep to their own part of the bargain so this is a good question for him and many others like him to ask themselves if it is really worth it for them sacrificing their life without them knowing fully in the case of their demise will the other party keep to their own part of the bargain by giving their family the fifty thousand dollars compensation violence in west africa's Sahel region has worsened in recent years as a result of conflict with jihadist groups Niger and its neighbors Mali and Burkina Faso have all been affected and all three countries have experienced military coups in the last few years partly as a result of instability. So anyone in this situation should ask themselves if it is worth it for them sacrificing their lives.